Hello everyone, it's Amanda Bach from Bach Star Stamping. Hello, let me get me up on my iPad here. There I am, I'll get my comments up. All right, so if you are joining me, please say hello. I'm gonna sit down now. All right, if you are joining me, please say hello so I can say hello back to you. All right, happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. All right, the annual catalog went live on Tuesday. Okay, I can actually do this now. Watch this. I can actually open it now. Okay, so my last video, I showed you all the returning colors except for Lost Lagoon because I didn't have it. I just got it yesterday. So actually, let me turn to 122 and just explain a few things before we start our card tonight. Okay, 122, let me grab the Lost Lagoon. Here it is. I haven't even opened it yet. I just got it yesterday. Let me open it real quick. All right. So I just got all my returning and new colors in officially yesterday. I have not ordered the in colors yet. I will. They're going to be on my second order, though. I decided. I had to budget, so I will go ahead and place that order later. Okay. So Lost Lagoon, a very pretty color. Let me put the rest of these away and grab a pretty peacock so you can see how it compares to that. All right. All right, so here's pretty peacock. So I feel like they are similar-ish, right? Similar-ish. Um, obviously the pretty peacock's darker. Lost Lagoon's a little lighter. I feel like, you know how like Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana were similar but different? Yeah, that's how I feel about this one. So there they are. There's the, the last color I didn't show you all yet. Okie dokie, let's move on. So in this catalog, just a quick walkthrough. I want to point out just a few things, not many. The table of contents. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten suites. Here's what a suite means. It's a bunch of things that go together very well. So let's just take, for instance, let's go to page 30. All right, so page 30, you'll see something like this when it's a suite. It always includes a stamp set and dies, or sometimes a punch, a designer series paper, usually some sort of embellishment, sometimes an embossing folder, sometimes ribbon, it doesn't matter. But here's what I want to point out. Let's just say you just want the stamp set and dies. Great. You type in this down here. Okay. Let's say you just want the embellishments. Well, there's two places you can find them. First of all, down here, it lists everything that's in the suite collection. So as I said before, the bundle, which includes the stamps and dies, the paper and the embellishments, which those are called loose silver sequins. Let's just say you just want that then there's your number right there, okay? Let's say you want it all. So what Stampin' Up! does is by having these sweet collections, here's the deal, you can just type in this number and get all of those items so you don't have to type them in separately, okay? So that's just what a suite is. Uh, very rarely do I order the whole suite. Usually I pick and choose what I like in each suite and just get those things um, because my budget will not allow me to order everything. Okay, and then in the catalog, there are stamps and dies. We call these bundles. So there's no de designer series paper that goes along with these, no embellishments that specifically go along with these. It's just stamps and dies. Or, for instance, this one, just a stamp. There are no dies or punches that go with this. Um, let's see if I can find the one. There's one other announcement I wanted to show you. I believe it's called Earth and Elegance. Earthen Elegance. Here we go, this one. All right. I have not yet ordered this one. <clears throat> and honestly, I'm not sure I will. Um, I do like this, so I don't know, we'll see. But what I wanted to tell you is, for the first time, Stamping Up is offering this stamp set in Spanish. So if you know Spanish speakers or you are a Spanish speaker, um, Online is where you can get it. It's not mentioned in the catalog, okay? But online is where you can find the Spanish-speaking stamp. I believe you type in Earth and Textures and 
um, Spanish maybe, or just type in earthen textures and it might give you option of Spanish or English. So they're trying something new. So if they get enough sales, um, they will continue offering stamp sets in Spanish, which I think would be very beneficial. All right, another thing I wanted to talk about this is um, a Stampin' Up! artist, you can see down here and in your catalog, actually created these tiles. These are tiles. And then they turned them into paper, okay? So they took photographs and blew them up into paper. So they are actual tiles. How beautiful is that? All righty, let's get into some stuff, shall we? All righty. <coughs> All right, so since the catalog went live on May 2nd, I have a new host code. Thank you all so much for your orders in April. Um, this is the host code for May. So if your order is under $150, please go ahead and use this host code. All right, I was trying to use up my rich Razzleberry because it's now a retired color. So I was just trying my best to use up a whole bunch of it the other day. And I thought, not, not much quicker than this. Design your series paper, throw a die cut on there, a matte layer, a brushed brass butterfly, quick, super simple card, right? And then I um, stamped on the inside. So this is the Quiet Meadows stamp set and the dies, Meadows dies. Super simple, beautiful, rich Razzleberry. I will miss rich Razzleberry. Speaking of which, I literally just created another card using Rich Razzleberry and some retired paper from a while ago. It was Celebration. All right. Just trying to use up. Uh, this is basically I had three pieces of paper. I cut it at two different spots and I just kind of mixed them all up and found a card I liked until it was, you know, like I liked it. And then I glued it down. So just trying to use up some more Rich Razzleberry. All right. Here we go. Next. <clears throat> uh, this is a book bind fold card. I ran it through an embossing folder here, which is one of the basics, which is an online exclusive. And it just, I thought it was pretty. Yeah, just trying to use up some of my, I think this was the Tea Boutique paper. But let me show you the next one. I really like it. Mm, isn't that gorgeous? Yes. So I wanted to show this. You see how there's some texture to that Tahitian Tide little sprig there? Okay, so here's what I did. Let me grab the punch. All right, so it's this punch, the bow punch. And once I had punched it out, I used my take your pick tool with a stylus on the end and my stamp and pierce mat. And with the bow, so like let's pretend this is a, a cutout, okay? I did this down the middle of each leaf and then made it really easy to bend and fold and gave it a little bit of texture. So I thought that was pretty, so I wanted to show you that. All right, next. Do, do, do. Put that away. All right, I was trying to use up my Rain or Shine Designer Series paper, the stamp set, and the dies car <clears throat> carried over, but the paper, unfortunately, did not. And I was using up some Mango Melody as well. All right, isn't that a cute card? Check out Karen Titus's uh, video, was it? Mm, a week ago today for this one. I've made this style card before, but it's like, oh yeah, quick and easy. And something a little bit different. Let me show you the one in Mango Melody with my little turtle, my little turtle. And um, the other color is Flirty Flamingo. So you can check out her website for the measurements of that. I just thought that was cute. I thought it was cute. All righty, well, let's get started with tonight's. First of all, Zany Zoo is in our new catalog. So how can I find it? Two ways. I wanna show you the different ways. First of all, it's at the beginning. Okay, so I know it's Zoo Crew, so it's page 46. But let's say you didn't know it was in a suite. You can go to the back, and alphabetically they list all the stamp sets. So down here, it's the only Z one. So I'm going to go to page 46 and 47. There it is. 
So the suite includes the stamps, the dies, the designer series paper, and this double pack of ribbon. So I did not get this. So when I ordered, I entered the bundle and then the designer series paper number, which there are some great designer series papers. Let's turn to that page. Oh, speaking of embellishments. Oh, so many great new embellishments. <gasps> Very excited about that. All right. So I love this paper. It features all the returning colors. And um, it's in my next order. This paper's in my next order, can't wait. This paper here does not go with a specific stamp set, but it complements many of them that are in here. Like for instance, there's a stamp set that has pretzels. There's a stamp set that has a keyboard. There's a stamp set that you can use these, you can punch these things out right here. So it doesn't quite go with anything specifically, but definitely one you can use a lot. Um, this is a gingham. How many of you like gingham? I ordered this one. Um, I love these four colors for sure. Uh, let's see. This is a very masculine, if you like, or someone who likes fishing. Um, let's see here. This is the one. Oh, this paper here, masterfully made. Wow. It's like ripped paper art and they put it on the paper. It's just Gorgeous. I see lots of berry burst and I love berry burst. This is super bright and colorful. If you know someone who likes planets and outer space, I do like that. I also felt like for the first time they gave us an enormous amount of amazing my kind of embellishments. Um, so I pretty much ordered all the new embellishments. I can't wait to play with them and see if they're as pretty in person as they are on these pages. Um, so if you have your catalog, that's page 140, especially these two I'm probably most excited about. Cannot wait to show you those next video. Hopefully they'll be in. So I will show you that. All righty. Here we go. Zany Zoo. Okay. So as soon as I saw a singing turtle, yep, had to have it. And music notes and dancing, bicycles. I actually crochet. I don't knit. Oh, I wish this was crochet and not knit. But you know what? I do like it. Uh, the dies are so cute, super, super cute. And let me just check something on my phone. Okay, hey, Julie. Okay, this is weird. I'm getting comments on my phone, but not my iPad, which is right in front of me. Okay, let me scroll and see if anyone else. Okay, <gasps> hello, Julie. All right, so the dies, I actually, I'm gonna use a few of these tonight. So I, you know, I have those out already. I wanna show you the paper because the paper makes me literally happy literally just excited when I saw this paper. All right. So the first page, eh, I'm going to put that over there. Okay. So this one has like, you know, bicycles and a little moped and a scooter. Very cute animals. The other sides, all the other sides are black and white. So if you're a black and white kind of person that you really like Black and white designs. This one could also be right up your alley too. And even if you don't care for this side. So this is kind of like outdoor adventure type ones. Next is like a party. I love the armadillo with the present. Adorable. Okay, the die will cut out this one here. A dog with confetti. <gasps> love it. Oh, uh, there's stars. <gasps> you know, it'd be fun to color these different colors. Ooh. Okay, there's that one. This is like adorable. Crafts, cooking, knitting, reading, meditation, painting, just adorable. And of course, if you wanted to color the animals more than they already are, you know, absolutely have at it. A little squiggles on this side. Okay, this page right here, if I could just order like a 30 pack of this page right here, you know I would. Um, I love music. I That's what I do for a living. I teach voice and piano lessons and love this page. This turtle is going to be like my favoriteest thing in the world. So the turtle, you can fussy cut, or sorry, the die cut. The rest of them, super easy to fussy cut, which I'm going to show you in the card I made, or I will be making, and then polka dots on the back. There's a pattern to that though. Yep. Oh, dancing. Love it. All right, so this one right here, you can you can use the die on. 
the rest you can obviously fussy cut. So cute. And one more. One more is kind of outdoor adventure camping, hiking. Oh, Elvis is scratching himself. Uh, we got a pig, a lion. It's so cute. All right, what's the back of that one look like? Little flowers, which would be very easy to color as well. All right, so let me show you the card. Let's get started. All right, throw this over here. I tried to be super organized, and I put everything in a little bin. Let's see how um, organized it stays, shall we? Ah. All right, so a white card base, a thick basic white card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I like to use my bone folder and go on both sides to give it a very good burnishing so it stays close. You know what, I'm gonna move this because I don't need this for this project. Okay, next, you're going to need a piece of, yeah, basic white, five and a quarter by four. Okay, that's what we're gonna build our front on. Here we go, you ready? In the die set are some adorable dies. I love to be on stage, I love to direct, I love to act on stage, and there is a die, I'm grabbing it here, that's like a curtain. It's a curtain, oh, I love it. So I went ahead and die cut two of those in pool party. Okay, then there's another die that's like a little squiggle here. That's like the top of the curtain. So I'm building myself a stage. <gasps> I love it. So that's gonna go like that. Then I have a piece of, it's one and a half by five and a quarter for like the, um, you know, the floor of the stage. That's gonna go under there. You see what I'm doing? You get my drift, okay? It's so cute. Then I went ahead and I die cut the turtle from the paper. He's my lead singer. He's my lead singer, but he's in a band, okay? He's in a band. <gasps> we have a bear playing an accordion. That's where the pool party came in. So the bear's gonna be back there. We have a warthog playing a banjo. Oh yes, Julie, this is for sure my set. I saw this and I was like, oh yes, finally. Um, we have a beaver playing a bongo. <gasps> so cute. And then hold on, hold on. He's little, so I gotta find him. He's a little frog and he's playing the flute. Now, if I had a complaint, he's playing the flute backwards. That is the wrong side to be playing a flute on. Um, that's not the right side, but anyway. I still think he's adorable, and I don't think many people are gonna notice that it's the wrong side. Okay, so what I wanna do is, I want to take the little music stamp, and I'm gonna put some music notes in the back, okay? So for that, I'm gonna need my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, so I don't wanna glue these, these guys down yet, or ladies, I don't know. All right, but I am gonna dump them off the stage. There they go, okay. See, Julia you didn't know, yes. I'm just happy that all these notes go the correct way. Because let's just say there's been some other stamp sets where the notes have not gone the correct way. Uh, speaking of which, the Mary Melody embossing folder, I still, even in this brand new annual catalog, they still have all the examples upside down and it just, it hurts me a little bit. Hurts me a little bit, okay. So we're just gonna put some notes here, there, and yawn. Keeping in mind that some of this will be covered up by the curtains. Get a little, bit of, boom, 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 boom. Get a little rhythm going there. Okay, all right, so put that over there. Now I can go ahead and get to gluing. All right, so step one, what I'm gonna do is do this one. Yes, I bet you are. I bet you are about bird stamps, yep. Um, so there's a new bird stamp in there that has like the, the glasses. That one is also gonna go on my second order. Um, I love it, I think it's so cute and I'm gonna have so much fun coloring with it. So we're gonna put this first. 
up at the top for the top of my stage. Now at my school where I direct, the, um, the curtain is red, but that's okay. All right, there we go. We're going to glue, oh, come on Warthog, can't get ahead of the game here. All right, now I'm gonna be careful with my glue on the curtain so that it doesn't seep through the holes. Okay, so I'm not being very um, strategic where I'm putting my, oh, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. Better put my floor on first. Better put my floor on. I know at our stage, the floor is black. So that's why I chose a black floor. Generally, most stages I've been on, the floor is black. Uh, unless it's just a beautiful polished wood, which is easier to scuff and stuff like that. Okay, so I've got my floor. Ah, ah. Now my curtain. Okay, hopefully my glue is still sticky. I think it is. All right, I'm gonna turn it sideways just so I can be a little more careful here. So I'm gonna start at the top there. There we go. And I'm gonna trim the, the edges, so don't worry about it if it's not exactly perfect. I'm never perfect, so it's okay. So if you know someone who likes to act or sing or has a band or maybe a music teacher, ooh, that'd be a good one. I'm gonna have to make something for my son's band and choir teacher. He had his last band performance in high school today and it was wonderful. Last night he had his band concert. He won the, uh, the highest honor of his band. Looks like a halter top when it's upside down. This kind of looks like a bikini top, doesn't it? Oh, I bet somebody's going to have fun with that. I bet there is going to be someone who comes up with something. <gasps> I hadn't even seen that. Okay, now I can tell that my edges aren't perfect. So here's what I want to do. I have a tiny little guillotine trimmer. And I love it for trimming off just the tiniest little bitty, bitty, bitty bits. And so I'm just gonna trim off the tiniest bitty bit. So what you gotta do is you really need to hold good right here. And sometimes I have to kind of watch, you're gonna shake, I'm sorry. Okay, so, so what I mean by the tiniest little bit, oh, I didn't, you know what, that was too tiny. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, oh, it is not, it is not wanting to cooperate. That's okay, I've got snips. I'll make it work, it will do what I say. It will, it will. Oh well, can't have a perfect guard, can you? All right, if I'd measured that better, now I've kind of ruined the edge. I'm gonna try to not let it bother me. Yep, I think I can maybe do some surgery from back here. All right, good enough is good enough, there we go. All right, so far, so good, right? Oh, I love it, I love it. All right, so my bear's in the back because he is the tall, the tall guy or lady, I don't know. We go to the German American Club quite often on Friday nights and there is a lovely accordion player who is a lady. And other nights there is a lovely accordion player who is a gentleman. And I enjoy both of them. I would love to try to learn how to play an accordion. Um, but yeah, I don't have one. Hmm. Could sell the heck out of those little... Yes! Oh, Julie, if they could bring those trimmers back. It's weird. I can see comments on my phone, but not... It's weird. Yes, if they would bring those... Oh, sandbox it. I'm going to put it in the suggestion box. Bring back those mini trimmers. They offered them just for a little bit if you became a demonstrator um, and then they were gone and I love them. I love them so much. Maybe should I add a little more glue? See, it's not perfect. I don't think anybody's going to care. I want to put this person back here, the little warthog playing the banjo. All right. Next, we have the beaver on the bongos. I'm going to put the beaver on the bongos up here. I just think they're so cute. Beaver on the bongos up here. 
And had I wanted to, I could have certainly colored these more, but you know what? I didn't want to, so I did not. There we go, our little froggy frog. He's so cute. He's so cute. Let's put the little froggy frog over here. And we have our turtle in the front, which I'm gonna pop up on dimensionals actually. Because they are the lead singer. I don't know what they're singing about, but I bet it's awesome. And there we go, we have a little scene. Oh. Okay, there's another die in there that is like a little flag, or a little banner. Oh, thank you. Yes, I do like the subtle color. I'm a brights girl. I'm a super, I love color, but I thought I'd just leave it like it is. I, I like how the instruments pop more. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, we're going to put it there. I think I had meant to put it there, but no, I didn't. We're going to put it there. Okay, so what I did is I already stamped the happy birthday to you and I die cut it out. So you didn't have to watch me do that. But I am not going to have the whole thing showing. I did plan on cutting it off. So there we go. I'm going to glue it from about that far down. And I wanna be careful. I'm gonna put it right there. Happy birthday to you. Make sure it's as level as I want it to be. Yes, okay. I'll flip it over and I'm gonna cut it from the back side. There we go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then we're gonna put that on our card front. Now I had considered, hmm. Oh, you know what? Why did I get that out? Well, you know what? While I'm considering it, I'm going to grab a lemon lime twist and see see if I like that. Let me let me grab one of those. I thought about it and then I didn't. Let's see what that looks like, shall we? Hmm. No. No. I don't like that. I will just grab another thick basic white. You know what that other one I had was? That was a mistake I made a while back. I cut it the wrong size. Let me grab another piece here, and I'll show you how I do my cards. While we're at it, we'll just make this a learning opportunity. Opportunity. All right, so I've got my trimmer here. First thing I do is I score it at four and a quarter. Then I turn it and cut it at five and a half. And then I have two card bases ready to go. And hey, if I need a smaller piece, then that's an option as well. But at least I, you know, most likely I'm going to use, especially thick basic white. I only use that for card bases. And honestly, you know what? I don't use it a lot. I really don't. I like colorful card, colorful card bases, but I didn't feel, oh, you just saw, I didn't like the lemon lime twist. And I also didn't like um, the pool party. Oh, thanks, Betty. Yeah. He's had a good few days. He's actually at what they call Senior Sunrise right now. Or, sorry, Sunrise, good one. Sunset right now. So they're having some activities on the football field that faces the sunset. And the whole class will be there. And they have some activities and food and games and stuff. So it's called Senior Sunset. So that is where he is at right now. Earlier in the year, they had Senior Sunrise, where they provided him a huge breakfast. And it was really nice. And yeah. So look at that. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Oh, you know what? Alton's birthday is coming up in June. Mm, this might be his card. Mm, no, because the, no. Nah. Okay. The inside, I was going to add something different and I do want to just keep it. I'll just make him a different one. Okay. Oh, there we go. And I thought this little cheetah, maybe Jaguar. Mm, I don't know. Jaguar, some sort of feline is dancing and we are going to put Z cat right here dancing to the music and while we're at it grab your envelope grab an envelope 
Go ahead and do that too while you're at it. There we go. Make your envelopes a little more special. And it, it took what, an extra five seconds? Just make your envelopes a little more special. I always try to put a little something on and then I stamp my name up here in a coordinating color that's in the card. Just so it, um, you know, it's a little something extra. All right, and the last thing I was going to put was, hmm, what was I going to put? You see my bin? It's now empty. Hmm, I wonder what I meant to grab. Oh, I know, it was another stamp. I just didn't get it out. Why didn't I get it out? I don't know. That was silly. Something great to celebrate. You. There we go, that's what I was gonna put. I don't know why I didn't grab that earlier. Okay. Well, you know what? A teaching moment. I'll show you how I put my stamps on a block. So if it is a red rubber stamp, I put my block down and I line it up on a straight line, okay? Then I take this and using the line that I can see through on the block, I try my best to make, you probably gonna see my hair, to line it up as straight as I possibly can. Then I'm gonna actually stamp in Lemon Lime Twist. So I'm grab that. I'm gonna test it. So what I do is I usually use my bottom line here and I put the bottom of my block there and I see how straight I got it on the stamp. Mm, it's just a tiny bit not straight. So I will try to, uh, you know, accommodate that, no. Keep that in mind, there we go. Keep that in mind as I stamp. So I'm gonna tilt my this side down just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And if it's not perfect, again, oh, I think I did pretty good. I don't think anyone is going to care, not one bit. Okay, now, generally, if you want to, if you're brave, I could have stamped that right in here. But you know what? Sometimes I mess up. So now I'm going to glue this. In the past, I've also made this a quarter of an inch smaller and then put like a lemon lime twist matte layer on the inside, so it gives it um, just a little something extra, but I will say sometimes when I do that, it makes it too heavy for just a regular stamp to mail, so I don't always do that. So we're just gonna put it on the inside, a white on white, and it'll look great. Oh, I love this card. So much fun. It did not take me very long to fussy cut these images, I started a new series on Hulu, and I just I just was watching some TV here at my uh, my craft table and cut out some animals, and I think that is so cute. Oh my goodness, so cute, so cute. And my envelope with my dancer. All right, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, my email is boxstarstamping at gmail.com. Um, be sure to like and follow me on Facebook and YouTube and also on Pinterest, but I also am trying to get my uh, Facebook group. It's called Box Star Stampers. So if you could um, join that group and share any creations, it doesn't even have to be card making um, there. I would absolutely love it. So thank you all so much for watching. You always forget your envelopes, Julie. Yeah, I, I do honestly about half the time. Um, and then when I go to mail them out, I just... I just put the colorful stamp, but you know what? I remember today. All right, oh, you know what? I wish these were stamps too. Oh, I wish these were stamps, a musical, oh. You, okay, music is like my first love and animals are like my second. So this is just, this is just perfect. And the stage is like my third love. So yeah, yeah. All right, thank you all. And I will talk to you all hopefully soon. Hopefully I'm gonna try next week. Graduation's coming up and I don't know how busy I'm going to be, but um, be sure to follow me on my Facebook page for all information and some inspiration. See you later. Bye-bye.